footy is back. Round one of the AFL starts tonight. Joining me live is Fox Sports News reporter Drew Jones. Drew, for years, at least I was wondering, Richmond Carlton, when do we do away with that? It's relevant again. Fascinating contest because <laughs> the Blues are a few down. They could lose this and still be a force this year, but, gee, they'd be pretty desperate for another win after narrowly getting up last year in round one. Yeah, g'day, Tom. It's so much excitement ahead of the AFL season. Expecting over 80,000 tonight, and it could be a record across all crowds across round one. And, yeah, after years of waiting, this is a really relevant fixture, as you say. Both teams potentially could play finals. Probably, if you listen to the experts, they both will finish in the top eight. And the storylines are intriguing. So Carlton have lost 11 of their last 12 against the Tigers. But as you mentioned, they won the season opener last year and they really should have played finals. They just couldn't quite get over the line late last season. Michael Voss with his second year in charge. He's got all the tools at his disposal. He's got Brownlow medalists, All-Australian, Coleman medalists. If they can get it all together, you'd expect that the Blues are going to make mm. a return to September the for the first time since 2012. And then on the other side of things, the Tigers, as we know, three premierships in four years. The last couple of years haven't been to the same standard for Damien Hardwick's men. They've actually just changed things up a little bit. They've still got the key pillars at both ends that we've come to expect and all the role players that we know and love. But they've gone and got two midfielders in Tim Taranto and Jacob Hopper. They're actually going to focus on contested ball and clearances, which they haven't really bothered with under Damien Hardwick's tenure. So yeah. we'll see a different-looking Richmond side tonight, and it's going to be an absolute belter. Carlton almost have a salary cap problem. If you can't get in the finals, you've got that. Something's gone wrong. Um, Geelong Collingwood is fascinating. Mm. Can Collingwood keep up the momentum? We all know they won all those close contests last year. Was there a bit of luck involved? And Geelong, I know we say this often, are they finally going to have a, a few just get a bit long in the tooth this year? Well, they've played, well, they've missed finals once since 2005, I think, the Cats, and they've won three flags in that time, or maybe even four. They have been dominant in the modern era. Under Chris Scott, they really have competed every year. I see no reason why they can't continue to be at the top end of the ladder. The only difference for me is I'm interested to see how Tom Hawkins goes this season. Didn't really have a pre-season foot surgery. I mean, he's got better year on year, and he is so crucial to their structure. If he starts a little bit slower or potentially that preseason, the lack of preseason holds him back from having a big year, that will be interesting. The leadership piece is interesting with no Joel Selwood. He's been immense for that club for a very long time since he walked through the front doors. Patrick Dangerfield takes on that role this year. And then Collingwood is so fascinating because we know they won something like 11 games by two goals or less last season, but then they lose two close finals. So when push came to shove in the qualifying final and in the prelim final, they didn't get it done and get themselves into a grand final. Maybe luck was involved. Maybe they won't win as many close games this year, but perhaps they'll be a better side and they won't be in that situation as much. They've gone out and got Tom Mitchell, uh, who'll be massive for them this year. Dan McStay, an underrated player up in Brisbane. I reckon he'll have a great year. So... Yeah, there's a lot of excitement mm. about not only tonight, but the entirety of round one. A few other stories just quickly, Drew. Ross Lyon going back to St Kilda. Alistair mm. Clarkson at North Melbourne. Dee's trying to bounce back. The dog's loading up the land of the Giants. What are you keeping your eye on for the rest of the round? Yeah, I think Dee's a, a massive chance to, to get back to the top echelon this year and win a flag. And I think the dogs, who are trying to make the top four for the first time under Luke Beveridge, I think that's in play as well. They've loaded up with the, the four tall forwards for round one. Ross Lyon, a real job on his hands. I reckon there's a chance the Saints might actually win the wooden spoon, but maybe that's not the wow. worst thing okay. for St Kilda as they try to reload, get some talent in the door. And then North Melbourne are fascinating under uh, uh, Alastair Clarkson. Does his, I guess, old school co coaching techniques at Hawthorne, can he bring that into the modern era? Yeah. They've got West Coast at Marvel Stadium on Saturday afternoon.